Hi, this is Rastar from Gizmathon.com, and I'm here today to share the top 10 things you should do after you buy the Lenovo White K4 Note. Customize your UI. Lenovo White K4 Note comes with two launchers. You have the default Android launcher that you see on Nexus devices, and the Vibe UI, which is like the iPhone or the Xiaomi devices without the app drawer. So all your widgets and app icons show up on the home screen. I'm not a huge fan of the Vibe UI as it looks cluttered and is not user friendly. Also. The default Android launcher provided by Lenovo on the phone is not the latest one from Google. So if you also like the default Android launcher like I do, go ahead and install the Google Now launcher from the Play Store to receive updates from Google and have the full functionality like the Google Now cards. Apart from this, you also have the ability to change themes for your launcher, lock screen and the recent app list. I love the iPhone style recent app list and I do recommend you guys to try it as well. Fingerprint Scanner You would have already set up the fingerprint scanner, but in case you haven't, please go ahead and set it up. It is accurate and fast and you will not miss the old way of unlocking your device. You also have fingerprint gestures like go back, go to the home screen and so on. But I would not recommend since I noticed that it was very easy to accidentally trip the scanner gestures while using the device. Set up double tap to wake. This is a feature that I personally love and I believe all Android phones should support. To set it up, go to settings, click on features and enable knock to light. This helps you to wake the device up using a simple double tap on the screen and you can see your notifications, time and so on. Now let us set up Smart Scene. Smart Scene lets you trigger profile based on Wi-Fi, NFC tags, time or even your class timings. I have set up one scene. That's the home scene, which is triggered based on Wi-Fi. So based on how the scene is set up, it'll automatically switch off my data connection, put my phone on loud, and along with that, also launch an app for me. So the first thing I do when I reach the office is to open my calendar or email. My device is now capable of doing that proactively for me. Enable white touch. White touch is a part of the feature tab on the settings. This is more like the assistive touch we have on the iPhones. You can quickly go into your recent apps, your camera app, the switcher which shows toggles for brightness, Wi-Fi, flashlight, auto-rotate, etc. all in one place. Under white touch settings, you can change the size of the button and transparency. I believe it is a great feature that you should try. If you think white touch panel is not of any use for you, then you can also go ahead and check the custom gestures. It lets you set gestures based on single and double tap. My double tap gesture is to lock the device. Display battery percentage and data speed. By default, the phone shows remaining battery life graphically. You can display it in terms of percentage as well. You can also display the current network speed that your phone is using on the status bar. This comes in very handy when you want to check if there's any app that is continuously using your data in the background. Customizing notifications. Go into app notification management under notification center settings. You can set up the way you want the notifications to appear for every app. For example, if you get a lot of messages or Facebook Candy Crush notifications and you don't want it to show up as a floating window on top, you can disable it. Apart from disabling the notification, you can also prioritize notification for several apps. You might want your WhatsApp notifications to always show up at the top. You can set that priority for those notifications. Now that we've looked at customizing how notifications show up, let us look at disabling them all together for some apps. To do that, you need to go to Notification Assistant under Notification Center Settings and click on Disable button for the app that you want to disable for. You would not receive any notification from that specific e-commerce app or games going forward. Power Management The Android Power Saver is not enabled by default on the phone. To enable it, go into Power Manager and set up Power Saver to automatically start at 15%. When it goes really low and you really want to save more battery, you can also enable superpower from the notification toggles. Apart from that, you also have the ability to restrict apps from running in the background or start when a phone has started, which is more like freezing the app on a rooted device or using something like Greenify to get more battery. This is an excellent feature and you should make use of this as well. Disable and uninstall apps like Game Store. Cloud print, etc., which come out of the box, but you will never use it. This will help you get more storage space 
and also stop unnecessary app services running in the background. Apart from these 10 features, you can also consider schedule on and off, high touch sensitivity display when you're wearing gloves, and display owner information with a number for people to reach out to in case of any emergencies or when you leave your phone somewhere. That's all I have. In case I've missed any cool feature that you use, please do leave it in the comment section below. Do like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you.